The People's Liberation Army of China is the armed forces of People's Republic of China and Communist Party. The 1st of August is celebrated annually as Chinese Workers and Farmers Red Army Day. The PLA consists of five professional service branches. The Ground Force, the Navy, the Air Force, the Rocket Force and the Strategic Support Force. The PLA is the world's largest military force, with a strength of approximately 2,285,000 personnel, 0.18% of the country's population. The 3rd of September 2015, Paramount leader Xi Jinping announced that he would reduce the country's military personnel by 300,000. The PLA's insignia consists of a roundel with a red star bearing the Chinese characters for H1, referring to the 1st of August. The PLA is under the command of the Central Military Commission of the CPC. Following the principle of civilian control of the military, the commander-in-chief is the chairman of the Central Military Commission. The Ministry of National Defense, which operates under the State Council, does not exercise any authority over the PLA and is far less powerful than the CMC. A system of political offices embedded within the military assures party authority over the armed forces so that the primary role of the Ministry of Defense is that of a liaison office with foreign militaries. The political and military leadership have made a concerted effort to create a professional military force restricted to national defense and to the provision of assistance in domestic economic construction and emergency relief. This conception of the role of the PLA requires the promotion of specialized officers who can understand modern weaponry and handle combined arms, operations, troops around the country are stationed in seven military regions and more than 20 military districts. Military service is compulsory by law, however, compulsory military service in China has never been enforced due to large numbers of volunteers from China's population. In times of national emergency, the People's Armed Police and the People's Liberation Army Militia act as a reserve and support element for the PLA, primarily for the People's Liberation Army Ground Force. Mission Statement Former CMC Chairman Hu Jintao has defined the missions of the PLA as consolidate the ruling status of the Communist Party, help ensure China's sovereignty, territorial integrity, and domestic security to continue national development, safeguard China's national interests, help maintain world peace, history, Formation and Second Sino-Japanese War The People's Liberation Army was founded on 1 August 1927 during the Nanchang Uprising when troops of the Kuomintang rebelled under the leadership of Judah, He Long, Yi Qianying and Zhou Enlai shortly after the end of the First Kuomintang Communist Alliance. They were then known as the Chinese Workers and Peasants Red Army, or simply the Red Army. Between 1934 and 1935, the Red Army survived several campaigns led against it by Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek and engaged in a long march. During the Second Sino-Japanese War from 1937 to 1945, the communist military forces were nominally integrated into the National Revolutionary Army of the Republic of China forming the Eighth Root Army, and the new Fourth Army units. During this time, these two military groups primarily used guerrilla warfare, fought a few battles with the Japanese while consolidating their ground by annexing nationalist troops and paramilitary forces behind the Japanese lines. After the end of the Sino-Japanese War, the Communist Party merged the two military groups and renamed the multi-million strong force the People's Liberation Army and eventually won the Chinese Civil War. A number of military regions were established in 1949. On the 11th of November 1949, the Air Force leadership structure was established and the Navy leadership the following April. In 1950, the leadership structures of the artillery, armored troops, air defense troops, public security forces, and worker-soldier militias were also established. The chemical warfare defense forces, the railroad forces, the communications forces, and the second artillery, as well as other forces, 
were established later. 1950s, 60s and 70s During the 1950s, the PLA with Soviet help transformed itself from a peasant army into a modern one. Part of this process was the reorganization that created 13 military regions in 1955. The PLA also contained many national revolutionary army units and generals who had defected to the PLA. Ma Hongbin and his son Ma Dunjing were the only two Muslim generals who led a Muslim unit, the 81st Corps to ever serve in the PLA. Han Yuan, a Salah Muslim general, also defected to the PLA. In November 1950, the PLA or People's Volunteer Army intervened in the Korean War as United Nations forces under General Douglas MacArthur approached the Yalu River. Under the weight of this offensive, Chinese forces drove MacArthur's forces out of North Korea and captured Seoul, but were subsequently pushed back south of Pyongyang north of the 38th parallel. That war also served as a catalyst for the rapid modernization of the PLAAF. In 1962, the PLA also fought India in the Sino-Indian War successfully neutralizing Indian defenses and achieving all objectives. Prior to the Cultural Revolution, military region commanders tended to remain in post for a long periods. As the PLA took a stronger role in politics, this began to be seen as something of a threat to party control of the gun. The longest-serving military region commanders were Zhu Xiyu in the Nanjing military region, Zhang Dezhi in the Jinan military region, Chen Zilian in the Shenyang military region, and Han Xinchu in the Fuzhou military region. Establishment of a professional military force equipped with modern weapons and doctrine was the last of the four modernizations announced by Zhou, in Luri and supported by Deng Xiaoping. In keeping with Deng's mandate to reform, the PLA has demobilized millions of men and women since 1978 and has introduced modern methods in such areas as recruitment and manpower, strategy, and education and training. In 1979, the PLA fought Vietnam over a border skirmish in the Sino-Vietnamese War where both sides claimed victory. During the Sino-Soviet split, Strained relations between China and Soviet Russia resulted in bloody border clashes and mutual backing of the opponent's enemies. China and Afghanistan had neutral relations with each other during the king's rule. When the pro-Soviet Afghan communists seized power in Afghanistan in 1978, relations between China and the Afghan communists quickly turned hostile. The Afghan pro-Soviet communists supported China's enemies in Vietnam and blamed China for supporting Afghan anti-communist militants. China responded to the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan by supporting the Afghan Mujahideen and ramping up their military presence near Afghanistan in Xinjiang. China acquired military equipment from the United States to defend itself from Soviet attack. The People's Liberation Army trained and supported the Afghan Mujahideen during the Soviet war in Afghanistan. China moved its training camps for the Mujahideen from Pakistan into China itself. Hundreds of millions worth of anti-aircraft missiles, rocket launchers and machine guns were given to the Mujahideen by the Chinese. Chinese military advisors and army troops were present with the Mujahideen during training. Onwards to 1980s In the 1980s, China shrunk its military considerably to free up resources for economic development, resulting in the relative decline in resources devoted to the PLA. Following the PLA's suppression of the Tiananmen Square protests of 1989, Ideological correctness was temporarily revived as the dominant theme in Chinese military affairs. Reform and modernization have today resumed their position as the PLA's priority objectives. Although the armed forces' political loyalty to the CPC has remained a leading concern, another area of concern to the political leadership was the PLA's involvement in civilian economic activities. These activities were thought to have impacted PLA readiness and has led the political leadership to attempt to divest the PLA from its non-military business interests. 
Beginning in the 1980s, the PLA tried to transform itself from a land-based power, centered on a vast ground force, to a smaller, mobile, high-tech one capable of mounting operations beyond its borders. The motivation for this was that a massive land invasion by Russia was no longer seen as a major threat, and the new threats to China are seen to be a declaration of independence by Taiwan, possibly with assistance from the United States, or a confrontation over the Spratly Islands. In 1985, under the leadership of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of China and the CMC, the PLA changed from being constantly prepared to hit early, strike hard and to fight a nuclear war, to developing the military in an era of peace. The PLA reoriented itself to modernization, improving its fighting ability, and to become a world-class force. Deng Xiaoping stressed that the PLA needed to focus more on quality rather than on quantity. The decision of the Chinese government in 1985 to reduce the size of the military by 1 million was completed by 1987. Staffing in military leadership was cut by about 50%. During the ninth five-year plan the PLA was reduced by a further 500,000. The PLA had also been expected to be reduced by another 200,000 by 2005. The PLA has focused on increasing mechanization and informatization so as to be able to fight a high-intensity war. Former CMC Chairman Jiang Zemin in 1990 called on the military to meet political standards, be militarily competent, have a good working style, adhere strictly to discipline, and provide vigorous logistic support. The 1991 Gulf War provided the Chinese leadership with a stark realization that the PLA was an oversized, obsolescent force. The possibility of a militarized Japan has also been a continuous concern to the Chinese leadership since the late 1990s. In addition, China's military leadership has been reacting to and learning from the successes and failures of the American military during the Kosovo War, the 2001 invasion of Afghanistan, the 2003 invasion of Iraq, and the Iraqi insurgency. All these lessons inspired China to transform the PLA from a military based on quantity to one based on quality. Chairman Jiang Zemin officially made a revolution in military affairs, part of the official national military strategy in 1993 to modernize the Chinese armed forces. A goal of the RMA is to transform the PLA into a force capable of winning what it calls local wars under high-tech conditions, rather than a massive, numbers-dominated ground-type war. The Chinese military planners call for short decisive campaigns, limited in both their geographic scope and their political goals. In contrast to the past, more attention is given to reconnaissance, mobility, and deep reach. This new vision has shifted resources towards the Navy and Air Force. The PLA is also actively preparing for space warfare and cyber warfare. For the past 10 to 20 years, the PLA has acquired some advanced weapons systems from Russia, including Sovereign Many Class destroyers, Sukhoi Su-27 and Sukhoi Su-30 aircraft, and Kilo-class diesel electric submarines. It has also completed several new destroyers and frigates including two AAW Type 052C class guided missile destroyers. In addition, the PLAAF has built an indigenous J-10 fighter aircraft. The PLA launched the new Jin-class nuclear submarines on 3 December 2004 capable of launching nuclear warheads that could strike targets across the Pacific Ocean. In 2015, the PLA formed new units including the PLA Army's leading organ, the PLA Rocket Force and the PLA Strategic Support Force. Peacekeeping operations The People's Republic of China has sent the PLA to various hotspots as part of China's role as a prominent member of the United Nations, mostly engineers and logistical units, as well as military police. 
and members of the paramilitary People's Armed Police have been sent to peacekeeping operations in Lebanon, the Republic of the Congo, Sudan, Ivory Coast, Haiti, and more recently, Mali and South Sudan. Notable events 1927-1950 Chinese civil war against the Kuomintang as the Chinese Red Army, 1937-1945, Second Sino-Japanese War, from 1941 part of World War II against the Empire of Japan, 1949, Yangtze Incident, 1950-1953. Korean War, 1954-1955, First Taiwan Strait Crisis, 1958, Second Taiwan Strait Crisis at Kwamoy and Matsu, 1962, Sino-Indian War, 1967, Border Skirmishes with India, 1965-1970, Vietnam War, 1969-1978, Sino-Soviet border conflict, 1974, Battle of the Paracel Islands with Vietnam, 1979, Sino-Vietnamese War, 1979-1990, Sino-Vietnamese conflicts 1979-1990, 1988, Johnson South Reef Skirmish with Vietnam, 1989, Enforcement of Martial Law in Beijing during the Tiananmen Square Protests of 1989, 1990, Barron Township Riot, 1995-1996, Third Taiwan Strait Crisis, 1997, PLA Control of Hong Kong's Military Defense, 1999, PLA control of Mako's military defense, 2009-present, anti-piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden, 2014, search and rescue efforts for flight MH370, 2014, peacekeeping operations in Mali, 2015, a 700-strong infantry battalion, supported by APCs and drones, is being deployed in South Sudan under the mandate of UNMISS.